Hello everyone. Now that you have your MOOC page on Open Learning, uh, you might be wondering what else uh, to be done. So uh, this video will show you some quick steps in doing um, the most essential things in Open Learning page. All right. Once you go to your page, if you see this edit button available, means you are assigned as educator or uh, admin. Uh, for those with editing access, you just have to click edit. So you can do all the editing here. So it comes with a, like a drag and drop mechanism. So this one, if you don't need it, you just delete. In fact, you can delete this one. Okay, this one, if you want to keep it, you can just click setup and then retype something here. Let's say, welcome to the course for, uh, you know, language and computing, for example. Done. So what you see in the, this box is what you get. So you can click the setup part and then you can put in your course information if you want to. This one, if you don't need it, you can just delete. If you need to expand this, just click this one. It will expand to full width. Done. Okay. If you need to add anything like um, video or file, just click, just drag and drop. Let's say if you want to put your video here. You did an intro video, just click that the video here, click setup, and then put in the URL of the video, for example, the YouTube video. And then you can decide whether you want to play automatically or loop and all that. And then you can also add your own thumbnail if you want to. If you don't want, just keep as it is, done. Then you will see your video appear like this. Don't worry about the size because it will shrink according to the screen size. So let's say if you would like to add another column here, let's say I shrink half. Right. I can actually shrink this to half and then I can drag this up to this so I can get to column effect. So if you need to add file, the same thing, you just drag and drop. Now, content is what we put in. Posting is when you allow people to post. For example, you want student to respond to your certain things. So this is posting and then you have interactive prompts. You can also have quizzes here. And then other integration, if you need to have some HTML snippets, like if you want to embed your Padlet or anything else. And then advanced, of course, you have uh, other features that you can use. Now, let's say I go to, you're done with this one. Okay. By default, if you go to learning and activities, is blank, right? So you have to go to course setup first under here and then go to content, add in your modules. Right, so let's say I put here topic one and then topic two. Now, let's say under topic one, I have two materials, so I can say video sorry, uh, learning video one, let's say learning notes or slides, whatever you want to. So, you create the the pages here first according to the unit same thing here maybe learning video 2 okay so now i have two topics with now if you notice there's a tick button down here count towards progress count towards progress if you're doing more and you would like certain material to be counted as progress then you have to tick this if you have additional things that you do not do not want to be counted as progress then untick uncheck this okay then you will not be counted Okay, now once you're done with this, if you go to learning activities, you will see that the pages are created for you already. So your job now is to go to individual pages. Let's say learning video one. As usual, it's blank. So click edit. You can type something here. Learning video one. Please watch this before you go further. For example, that's just type clearly. You can add images and all that by clicking all these buttons, right? So once you're done, just click done. If you see here, all the icon in Open Learning, the pages are with this icon. So you can change this, click change, and then upload your own photo. It will, it will be uploaded here. You see like now your page is just with this one. So let's say you want to add a, uh, slides. You just have to drag the file here, and then set up, and then drag and drop your file. So let's say this PDF drag and drop your file let's say this is a pdf or ppt whatever you want uh, but i do uh, recommend pdf instead of ppt now if you one thing that you have to be careful is your name for the file if possible please do not have spacing or any special characters or else you the error will pop up right so uh, once you're done 
you can even hide download link if you don't want them to download you want them to go through the site i do recommend you just allow them to download and done you will see this like this the slides will appear here and then the student will also be able to see so you will see the slides appear like this you will see the slide appear like this and then the student will also see this or the learner will also see this link downloaded so if you want to set the completion you can just click completion setting you can say no completion tracking completed when view or completed when scroll to you can actually decide if they scroll to 100 percent then only it's counted so you can set or maybe 50 percent up to you okay if you don't want then just click completed when view so if they download but they do not scroll here it will not be counted for their progress okay so uh, this is the completion setting so if you want to add other things, then just drag. But I do recommend you, if you have many slides, don't put every slide in one page. You can create like learning slide 1, learning slide 2 pages, then you add in your things. Okay? So now that you see the icon is ready, so if I view here, if I go to my learning activities, now I can see my page done. So I go to the next one. Repeat the same step. So edit, and then put in my material. This is the default box, learning unit, learning notes. So you can drag the file here as usual repeat the steps and then you know and all that so you can go view if i go here if i tap here and then i can go to learning video 2 this is unit 2 already so if i click edit same same steps if i add video i just drag the video so if you don't need this box just delete the box the text box so put in your URL again and then just done for example okay so these are some of the things if you notice the icon is not automatically the thumbnail the thumbnail is not automatically captured so you have to probably crop the picture and then upload it here have to change it here all right anytime you need to edit the unit you just go back to core setup and then go to cut content so you, anytime you want to change anything, just change it here first. And then when you go to learning activities, you can you can upload your materials. Okay. Now for assessment, let's say if you let's say I, I use this canvas. For assessment, you just have to change this to. You can see here activity, so I can put here like for example, read through the the notes and answer this questions for example this is like open-ended forum okay you put the question up there then you drag this post text this is where the learner will post like a forum style they can they can post their feedback here so so if you view it looks like this okay so this is like a forum if you don't want a forum style you can go to quiz here scroll down to quiz and then you have multiple choice and all that then same thing just drag it down here but i do recommend you to arrange this nicely so you have your video note assessment you know in one in one column and then you go to uh topic one topic two okay if you want to change the appearance of your mode just go to course setup and then go to appearance so this is where you can upload the banner you can design your own banner up here change banner okay just drag the file here this is where you can change your banner you can change the color if you don't want to right you can even upload the background image and, and all that so uh, the menu here so if you want to add your link here and just just change it to link to an existing page just type in name let's say unimas and then i put here www.unimas.ny just add And then I type in the URL. The URL has to be complete with HTTP, right? And then add in. So I have the Unimas link here now. You see, okay. So if you want to view any admin, just click Advance. You will see all the administrator here. Administrator has more access. You can administer student and all that. If you want to view uh, your students, just go to Administer Students General. This is where you see how many in your group and all that and then you will see the list of student here lah. now it's empty of course mine okay this is student so these are some key features in uh, open learning so try it out and then let me know if you have further uh, questions or problems you know in setting up your page